Hello everybody, this is Danila Cuellar from PeacefulAnarchism.com and I want to talk a little bit about interpersonal relationships because I think this is vital for how us as uh, anarchists and volunteers who want to communicate a message of peace of love, of compassion to other people. And how do we communicate it in a way that is non-threatening, that is easily relatable, that is beautiful. When we meet people for the first time, we must always be civil and courteous and polite. We must give people the benefit of the doubt. We must not judge people according to their, according to the groups that they travel in, according to how they look, how they dress, how they talk. We must always give people a chance to demonstrate their humanity, their compassion. And if this is not reciprocated, if they do not treat you with the respect and the courtesy that you have treated them, you can try a few more times, give them a second chance, but there is no shame in saying goodbye. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to be around you. I don't like your energy. There's no shame in that. It's the choice to associate or dissociate with whomever we want. When we engage in relationships, intimate relationships as well as friendships, there is, there must be a reciprocity of love and compassion of humanity. That is the main reason why we choose the friends and the significant others that we choose. Most people do not enter into such a voluntary relationship with another person if they are harmed or if they are shamed or if they are continuously insulted. Most people want to be motivated and uplifted and inspired. That is the reason why we enter into such voluntary relationships. So if we discover that a person in our group of friends is not compatible with our personality, we must accept that fact gracefully. We must look at that and say, it's okay. I will go my way and you go your way. Or you can just retreat. No harm done, no ill feelings, no malcontent, just retreat. Because for a person to want to be around you and for you to want to be around another person, you must, your life must be made better because you are around this person. You must be a better person you must be learning something. So if my presence around someone does not make them a better person, in fact makes them a worse person, of an inferior person, an angry, a bitter, hostile, belligerent person, this must be recognized and dealt with. The freedom to dissociate 
is the freedom inherent in all individuals. It is the freedom to say that with interpersonal relationships as well as businesses, we may we may engage in voluntary interactions with each other and with the businesses that we choose to patronize. <clears throat> and the reasons that we choose to not go to a particular business could be one of many different reasons. And this is why, while it may not be popular to say, a person may choose to not patronize a certain business establishment, perhaps because they don't like the race, the gender, the religion of the owner. In the same way, you can choose to dissociate from people in terms of your friendships for the very same reasons, race, gender, creed, nationality, religion. This is not an insult. This is merely preference. Just as no person is guaranteed your friendship, no business is guaranteed to serve you. Just as every business has the inherent right, whether they advertise it or not, to withhold transactions with any person they deem fit to withhold in the same way that we can withhold our friendship or our intimacy from any person. My wife is very pleased that she has a monopoly on my free time, on my night time, <laughs> on my spare time. Every night that I sleep in the same bed, in the same house as my wife, is a night that I have discriminated against every other woman or man. <clears throat> and she's okay with that. In fact, she is supremely pleased with that. <laughs> So along our journey, if we discover certain people to be incompatible with our nature, this is not something to be ashamed of. This is something that we discover by the act of living. You must always be learning about the world, learning about business, learning about economics, learning about nature, as well as learning about yourself and what suits you, what makes you happy, what makes you into a better person, what inspires, uplifts, and motivates you. That is what you should be focusing on. Life is too short to surround yourself with small minds, with people that seek to put you down to insult you, to degrade you. Life is too short. We exist for merely, merely an eye blink in the great ledger of history. Choose wisely who you want to spend your precious time you have here on earth. It will make all the difference. Thank you for listening. This is Danilo Quayer from PeacefulAnarchism.com. Have a magnificent day.